सभी को मेरा नमस्कार साथियों वैदिक मैथमेटिक्स के इस वीडियो को बनाने का प्रथम श्रेय मैं हमारे माननीय प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी के उस वक्तव्य को देना चाहूंगा जो उन्होंने मन की बात के दौरान कहा कि यह हमारा दुर्भाग्य रहा है कि कई बार हम अपनी शक्तियां और स्मृद परंपरा को पहचानने से इनकार कर देते हैं और वहीं जब विश्व का कोई दूसरा देश एविडेंस बेस रिसर्च के आधार पर वही बात करता है तो हम उसे हाथों हाथ ले लेते हैं। दूसरा श्रेय वैदिक गणित विशेषज्ञ श्री राकेश भाटिया जी को जिन्होंने मुझे वैदिक गणित की बारीकियां सिखाई numbers above base and then below base and then one number will be above base and other one be below base means a mixed problems so we will begin with the numbers above base so let me take example first example of above base then so if i have to multiply 13 and 12 this is my question so first of all i'll check this 13 how much it is away from this base so you'll be saying 3 what about 12 it will be 2 now my answer will consist of two parts first part i'll get from these deviations the product of these deviations 3 to the 6 and the second part i can get either by adding these two or by adding these two 13 plus 2 is 15 or 12 into 3 is sorry 12 plus 3 is 15 so in both ways i'll get the answer as 156 fine but you have to keep one thing in mind that if the base is 10 so the number of digits on the right hand side of your answer it should be one only fine if your base is 100 then the number of digits on the right hand side part should be 2 and if the base is 1000 then the right most part of the answer will contain three digits fine so let's take one more example to understand above base example second i'll take 15 into 17 if i want to do so here 15 is 5 units away from the base and your 17 is 7 units away from the base fine so if you'll multiply these two you will get 35 so you'll be writing 5 only now the remaining 3 you will be carrying over now 15 plus 7 it is your 22 22 plus 3 that was carried over fine so what you are going to get 25 5 let's take one more example if you have 13 into 17 so you'll be writing 13 is 3 away from the base and your 17 is 7 away from the base so the right most part will contain only one digit reason again i'll tell you because they are close to the base 10 fine so 7 3s are 21 i'll be having one only two i'll write here now 13 plus 7 is how much 20 so 20 plus 2 it is 22 so your answer will be 2 to 1 you can take more examples like uh, you can multiply 11 with 15 or you can multiply 12 into 16 you can multiply 13 into 15 you can multiply 14 into 
all these multiplications you can do using Nikhilum above base. Now we have if the numbers are above base 100. Fine. So here we have 103 into 102. So if I check 103, it is 3 more than this base 100. And what about 102? It is 2 more than the base 100. So here also I will be having the same. These deviations will be multiplied 3 to the 6. So here I will write 0, 06. I hope you can understand. I told you. If the base is 10, I will be having only one digit. If the base is 100, I will have two digits on the right part of the answer. And the next thing you can write directly 103 plus 2 it is equals to your 105. So your complete answer is 10506. In the same way you can take this also 104 it is 4 away from the base. 106 it is 6 away from the base. So you can write 24 here. 6 4 is 24. And then you can add these two or these two. 104 plus 6 is 111. Zero. So you have 11024 as your answer. You can check the speed yourself that how fast it is going to be. Now 105 it is 5 away from the base and 107 it is 7 away from the base. Now you can write the answer 35. These two are supposed to be multiplied and 105 plus 7 it is equals to your 112. So your answer will come out to be 11235. Now you can do this part. 102, it is 2 away from the base. And 108, it is 8 away from the base. So while writing the answer, 8 to the 16. And now you have 102 plus 8, it is 110. So your answer is 11016. Now if my number is 1005 and 1003, I want to multiply these two numbers. So 1005 is 5 away from the base 1000 and 1003, it is 3 away from the base 1000. Now you can multiply these uh, two, 5 threes are 15 you have but you will be writing 0, 1, 5 here and the left part 1005 uh, plus 3 it is 1008. So your answer will be 1008015. Here why you have taken this extra zero? Because since the base is 1000, so here we need to have 3 digits. In the same way I can proceed with this part also. 1006 it is 6 away from the base and 1009 it is 9 away from the base. If I will be multiplying, I will be getting 6 times of 54 and I will be having a 0 and 1006 uh, plus 9. Fine. So it will give you 1015. So this is your complete answer. Fine. Now in the same way we can proceed with 1012. It is your 12 away from the base and 1012. 3, it is your 3 away from the base. 12 3 is a 36 I have. And for the second part, I will be having 1015. I will be adding these two. So, 1015036. This is your answer. In the same way, you can proceed for this also. 1004, it is 4 away from the base. 1007, it is 7 away from the base, so you will be having 0 to 8 as the rightmost part. And this, these two, if you will be adding, you will be having 1011. So your answer will be 1011028. So you have learned how to multiply the numbers above base 10, above base 100, and above base 1000. But Keep one thing in mind, we initially we are multiplying the numbers which are close to the base. We are not taking the numbers which are far away from the base. 
Once you learn these techniques of multiplication, then you can multiply those numbers also, which are a bit away from this base. But right now, practice only those questions which are close to the base 10, base 100 and base 1000. And try to check out how your speed of calculations increases. So the more faster you will be doing the calculations, more confident you will be in mathematics. Thank you.